Because you might think it's just about a sermon, but God says it's a day. He always trying to kill me. Don't go. Leave them folk alone. They don't care nothing about you. You ever heard that? Amen. And the Bible says he's an accuser of the world. Let the Bible say he's an accuser of the brother. Why are you going to listen to him when he tells you about somebody? Mm, my God, my God, my God. Mm, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, my God. Thank mm. you. I hear voices. Yes. I hear them. Yes, I hear them. I hear them. Evade, evade your dream. I'm going to tell you how bold the voices are. Have you ever been on your knees praying? You've been on your knees up, come up, and you was giving God all you had, and, and you was telling, you was praying, and you was smiling, smiling and smiling, and hallelujah, and thank you, Jesus, and, and all of that stuff, and all of a sudden, huh, that sister who hurt your feelings, huh, come and get right down next to you, huh, and, and she's serious, huh, and she's like, oh, Lord, God, I'm sorry. And she tells God she's sorry about what she did to you. But you hear that voice and your prayer hit the ceiling and come back down. You gotta learn how to stand, how to forgive, folks. Yeah. 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 I'm confessing this one. I hope, I hope y'all call me back and don't say that preacher ain't got good sense because he hearing voices. <laughs> There's something wrong with him because he hear voices because every voice that I hear, I'm so glad that see, I learned this when I learned the voice of my shepherd. Because huh? even though I hear all of those strange voices, huh? those are not the voices that I follow. Huh? Sometimes they make this so loud huh? until it looks like I'm about to go that way. Huh? But there's a still quiet voice. Huh? I heard the Bible said I look for him in the whirlwind. Huh? And I didn't find him. Huh? I looked for him in the storm. Huh? And I didn't find him. Huh? But after the lightning was over and the thunder was over, huh? it was a still quiet voice. Yeah. Yeah. They said you belong to me. Say, you belong to me. As long as I know I belong to God, I'm not worried. I don't fret. I don't complain. I don't complain. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to stop. My daughter went to a high school. And we, 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 Lord bless us to have a house. And we bought the house and we moved to the new house. And 11 days or two weeks before she was to graduate, they said that we had moved out at an earlier date than we actually had. And they kicked her out of school. They kicked her out of school. And I, used to, I used to walk around talking all this stuff. See, God will make you shut up when you're talking too much. So I used to Talk about, yeah, I don't spend no sleepless nights because I tell God, you know, you're going to be up all night anyway, so ain't no use in both of us being awake, so I'm going to sleep. And I told that stuff for years and bragged on it, and, and folks were shouting, I said, whoa! <laughs> but when they mistreated my child, and I couldn't fix it. I pride myself on being a man. I pride myself on being a father. Uh -huh. They traumatized my son because he felt they was going to kick him out too. They had messed with my children and I couldn't do nothing about it. Guess what, y'all? I didn't go to sleep at night. And I heard voices uh, told me to drive past and throw a cocktail in the window, uh, running down, do something. I heard but 
me wrong. Paid money for a lawyer, paid money in court, agreed with him. I had all the documentation and agreed with him. But I got on the phone. God let you know he connected me with a guy at the State Board of Education. And while we were talking, I was explaining my situation. He said, yeah, I know how it is with child. He said, because my daughter is sick in me. And I said, you know what? I'm going to pray for your daughter. He said, what? I said, I'm going to pray for your daughter. Next thing I know, they sent a, a memo called the school and said, I don't know what's up, but I suggest, I, suggest, I strongly suggest uh, that let this girl graduate. Oh, they, they got the last little slap because they wouldn't let her walk to say, so they gave her the diploma a whole week before everybody else just so she could walk to say. But guess what? She graduated. She graduated. You can't always get it like you want it. Uh, uh, when God ordered for we know all things work together. Uh, yes, I wanted her to walk across the stage. Uh, yes, she wanted to walk across the stage. Uh, but more important than everything is she needed to graduate so she could keep on going to school. He will answer your prayer. He will do, he will fix it. Uh, if you don't listen, you listen to the right voice. Uh, if you don't listen to a stranger voice, uh, a stranger will lead you to destruction. Uh, a stranger will lead you to death. Uh, a stranger will lead you out of the will of God. But you got to know your shepherd's voice. Hallelujah. To stop the voices because you're not responsible for the devil being the devil. Come on with me. You're not responsible for it. You will not stop the devil from being the devil. You're not going you to do it. So, what you got to do is practice hearing your shadow's voice. Anybody in here really got a relationship with God? Don't you know? Haven't you, haven't you experienced the fact that there is a way God can say your name that even your mama can say it as soon? Do you know, you know immediately, even sometimes when you get off, when you get off and you ain't doing it right, God don't even have to holler at you. He can just speak your name and you come to attention. Because my sheep know my voice. I, 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 got, I got members of the Lenders Temple. I'm their shepherd. I ain't everybody's shepherd. Some folks, I'm just a preacher. Every pastor has to know that. You ain't everybody's pastor. Some folks, you just a preacher. But the ones, Joe, that's my shepherd, they know my voice. I can sit in a crowded dining room. And I told somebody, and they didn't believe me. But Deacon Walter, Deacon Robinson, he has hearing problems. He does not hear well. But I can sit at the front of the dining room and I can say, Walt, because my sheep know my voice. <laughs> Folk can be talking to him and he won't hear him. But I can be, and, and our dining room is like my table. The table I sit is here and, and he'd be back there by the back wall. That's how much room it is. And I can just whisper and say, hey, Walter. Even when he can't hear other folks when they're talking to him, he hears my voice. For my sheep know my voice. 